Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin SL TV. Today, I'd like to share how to create password masking text box. Let's proceed to the developer tab and we share basic. Select the needed text box. Under the properties of the text box that list the text box 2, click on categorize. Under the appearance group, look for password character. Type the character that we want, for example, a string. Now click on the user form and run it. And we should be able to have the password masking text box now. Alternatively, instead of changing the properties of the text box 2, we could also double click on the user form. Instead of using the procedure click, we can change to activate, delete if needed, and now type the code here. We should first call the user form either type user form 1 or type me, followed by dot and now choose the text box number 2 dot the password character and we should set equal to the character that we want. We should always bear in mind that this must be in terms of string. So we should type together with the quotation marks. We could run the user form and check again. If we wish to provide option to allow user further to show or to hide the password, we may need two icons. We can insert either by using the label control or the image control. I'm going to use the label control in this video. Insert at the desired place. Under the properties of the label, delete the caption. Scroll and look for picture. There are two methods to insert the icon. Let's try for the first method. Back to the spreadsheet. Go to the insert tab. Under the illustrations, select the desired types. I'm going to use the icons. Type and search the desired icon. Insert, copy, and back to Visual Basic. Paste it here. And we should have the icon pasted on the label. If we wish to delete the icon after insert, of course can, since this will not affect the result. Now let's write the code, double click on it. Since I have insert an icon that with I in open mode, so which means that when the user click on this icon, we should show the password. Let's copy the code and paste it here. And now we should remove the password character so that we are able to show the password. After we have shown the password, I'm going to hide this icon. To do so, we have to call the user form followed by the label. Since this is label 3, so we should select the label 3. And now dot visible, and we should set equal to false since we want to hide it. Next is to provide option for user to hide the password if needed. So back to the user form, we can copy the label or insert a new label. Overwrite it. Also, delete the caption, scroll, look for picture, and we should now try for the second method. Instead of copy paste method, we can insert by using browser. Insert the desired icon or image, click on open. Also, double click on it. Back to the procedure of label tree, click. Add another code, and this time we should make the label 4 that we have just insert be visible. So change to label 4 and set equal to true. Without retyping everything again, we can copy and paste it here. When label 4 is clicked, we should hide the password. So we should add the password character. Once we have shown the password, the label 4 is no longer needed. Instead of putting label 3 as invisible, we should put 4. In other words, we should interchange the Boolean response of the two labels. Lastly, before we text the user form, we should copy all the codes in label 4 click to user form activate, since they should perform exactly the same actions. And now we can test the user form. Let's run it. As we can see, when the user form is called, the eye is in open mode, which means that user can choose to read the password by clicking this icon, as we can see here. In contrast, when the user click on the hide mode, the user will no longer be able to read the password, as we can see here. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.